Chegan. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Racing Master One here, and today I'm going to bring a tutorial on the best way to um, play PS2 games um, for cheap, like pretty, pretty cheap. Um, that's not like what I mean by it. What I mean is that you can pirate games, burn them to a disc, and play them in your PS2 without your PS2 memory card being modded. So, the uh, first thing you're going to need is your PS2, obviously. Second thing you're going to need is a computer running at least Windows Vista, so that way you can get this program on your computer called uh, Image Burn. I M G Burn. Just look it up on Google Chrome. Um, check and make sure if your PC is Windows 32 bit or 64 bit. You don't know how to do that. Go to Control Panel System and Security. Click on System. We'll say Windows 64 bit or 32 bit. You'll be able to see it. So you'll need Image Burn, and you also need WinRAR again, 64 bit or 32 bit. So, um, that's for your computer. Now for your PS2, what you need is a Coder Swap Magic 3 disc. Um, it's about 40 bucks for this Swap Magic 3 disc. The other one, which is all white, um, with some black, is for installing software on your memory card. This one, on the other hand, is for running, um, discs especially so like in instance burning isos to a disc that's a ps2 iso now when it comes to the disc um many people might have you know um dvd plus rw and they're 4x but they still have 4.7 gigabytes of storage well i'll tell you those are not the ones you want because A, first off, they're not for high performance gaming, and they're mostly for backing up your computer. And for pirating movies. That's literally all they're for. Now these ones, on the other halves, um, for a 15 pack of these, it was $10 at Family Dollar. At my local Family Dollar. Which is really nice and really cheap, considering how well these work. Now, I tried the ones that everyone... <laughs> is using to back up their PCs and they won't even boot the game so I've just been wasting my time and money with those ones so I was like okay screw it everyone's using these Sony DVD minus R uh, 16x speed discs I'll just go to Family Dollar and see what they have well all they have are these Philips discs and they work great that's what they look like These are the best discs to use for pirating your games. Now, a lot of people don't know where you're going to get the games. All you got to do is go to your Google search and type in MU Paradise. Just search that. Be the first link, MU Paradise. Perfect. And then just look up the PS2 game you're looking for. Go through and click off what console it's for. It'll have like the search navigate and whatever the freaking um consoles the games for uncheck all and then click ps2 and look for the usa one just download 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 no surveys no surveys which is what i love the most i use this website for getting all of my isos and roms for old consoles i love this website so much everyone uses it other than the pirate bay you can use pirate bay but it's more of a pain and you're most likely going to get caught. So I have my laptop right here in front of me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to that. And we're going to burn a game. Okay, so uh, I'm back. I have the my laptop recording right now. And I have the DVD in my hand. So I'm going to open up uh, the disc tray on my laptop. And I'm going to insert the DVD. And it should be spinning up. Now the best thing to do is um, to make sure that the DVD is 
running up so you want to just go ahead and check in your file manager that the DVD is popping up and as you see it has popped up Now that it is running, um, and it's the full, okay, so good. So, now that I have that, I have a game that I downloaded from ME Paradise, and it's for PS2, it is Midnight Club DUB Edition Remix, it's about 3.1 gigabytes, or 3.2, so I'm just going to go ahead and open that up, and it'll use WinRAR to open the file as you can see here and that's an 8 gigabyte game okay um I guess I'm not using this game oh wow okay um I forgot about that so that was a waste of time uh, <laughs> so um right backup plan I still have games I have not burnt yet so you get the idea you open it up you extract it to your desktop and boom you're done with extracting your ISO um what game okay um MTV celebrity deathmatch I have not done this one yet so that's the one I'm going to use so now that you know where your ISO is go ahead and run image bird it'll load up like this and now it's spinning the disk and getting it ready for image burn yeah there we go so what you want to do is you want to click on write image file to disk and since my disk is a 16x, what I'm going to do is select 8x. Now, um, when you first use Image Burner, it will say Max or AWS. So, since I suggested an 8x or I mean, uh, 16x disk, what you want to do is always do half of what it is. So, 8x. Now go ahead and click on this little file here with the magnifying glass and find your ISOs so uh, MTV Celebrity Deathmatch which is about 3.6 gigs 3.5 roughly um, and click open and once you do that, it'll load up the file as so. And as you can see here, it's got the um, information on the disk that I have inserted in my disk drive. So once you have your disk inserted to your disk drive, go ahead and click right here as well. As your um, as long as you got your ISO selected as well, just go ahead and click right. Now remember, I suggest the 18x 4.7 gigabyte uh, DVD minus R DVDs. I don't care what brand they are. You shouldn't care what brand they are. I'm using the Philips ones. They are working mighty fine for me. I suggest those ones. So, since I'm using a laptop, I don't know if it's going to do the same thing as on PC, because I'm using a laptop, not a desktop. Um, the disk tray will open after it's done burning, and it'll pop up with a message saying, please put the uh, tray back in. And that's to verify and install the PlayStation software reader on the disk to get it to boot the game. So now it's buffering and it is writing lead. 
So when it gets to the error message, I will come back. automatically close the drive tray have failed don't worry this isn't anything bad um, all you gotta do is close the drive tray give it about 20 seconds to hear it spinning again and then okay and it should start again we don't have to go a while. Welcome to my house. Welcome to my house. Morning comes and you know that you want to stay. Close the blinds, let's pretend that the time has changed. Keep our clothes on the floor, open up champagne Let's continue tonight, come on celebrate That's how we do it, sometimes you gotta stay in And you know where I live Yeah, you know what we is Sometimes you gotta stay in Welcome to my house Baby, take control the sound you are greeted with when your file is done being burned to the DVD so now that it's all finished you can go ahead and close out image burn it'll go ahead and yep do all that you can eject your DVD that has your freshly burned video game on it and if you look on the bottom, the bottom disc looks different now. It looks like uh, a different tone. But that's okay. That means your file can burn to it. So now I'm going to go ahead and switch from the computer to the PS2. So I have my PS2 right there with the straw tissue mod. Other. <laughs> that's the only mod that's on that thing. And it's. So I can keep this open at all times because I like to make sure my disc is spinning and stuff. So here with me, I have the coder disc. And all you're going to need is a uh, PS2. Where is it? There goes my coder disc. I'm not going to be surprised if it don't work no more. Uh, you're going to need a PS2 remote and a PS2 flash drive. So, well, memory card. So now that you have all those in the PS2, go ahead and start it up. Ta da Actually turn off my TV a little bit. And it should load through the coder disk. And you know it worked if Ta da. So now to go ahead and take out the coder disk. And take your freshly burned video game disc and just put it in the PS2. Now what you want to do is you want to go over to special and then click on default. And what this will do is it will load a um, non-licensed PlayStation disc. So hint your burnt disc and as you can see it's working as you can see there's no other PS2 consoles and it's not junk it's the actual game <laughs> Mr. T holding up Marilyn Manson I love this game so much it's a game I grew up playing and then 
PS4 replaced it. So you can see the game's working perfectly. So yeah, there you go YouTube. That is the best way and easiest way with the best way overall, there's no easy way, because it is easy, there's no hard or easy. That is the best way to pirate PS2 games and play them on your PS2. Now, I do know that the coder disc is about 40 bucks on Amazon, so that is going to cost you 40 And then if you still got your PS2 or if you're buying another one, you're going to have to include the cost of that. You're also going to need a computer with the DVD burner. At least Windows Vista. And then you're also going to need some DVD minus R DVDs, 4.7 gigabyte, 120 min, 16 X speed. I suggest the Philips ones. This is a 15 pack from the Family Dollar. It cost me nine dollars and eighty three cents. So yeah, thanks for watching YouTube. Peace out.